bread. Um, we're gonna be making plaited bread with cherry tomatoes and some herbs. I'm gonna make two versions today. One on a lacquered and one on a inside a cake tin, like donut cake tin. So you can choose. So what will you need? 350 grams of manitoba flour, which is basically very strong bread flour. 200 grams of all-purpose flour. 10 grams of brown sugar. Um, oregano, dried. Um, you also need mint and margarine. Um, if you find those dry, it's actually probably better. Um, I found them fresh, so I just uh, rigid them in the blender. You know? yeah. um, 8 grams of salt, uh, 10 grams of fresh yeast. You can use a dried yeast, um, yeah, just the equivalent. 40 ml of extra virgin olive oil, 150 grams of cherry tomatoes, 300 ml water and some salt and sugar for the cherry tomatoes. First thing, we start with the tomatoes. You get a, you get a lacquered with wax paper on it. You move everything out of the way, like so. And all you do is you place your cherry tomatoes that you have previously washed and cut in half with the round side down. So, preheat your oven at 90 degrees Celsius and now you take the salt, sprinkle the salt. We don't waste anything, so scrape your container. And off we go to the oven. Okay, so we put the tomatoes in the oven, 90 degrees centigrade um, for 90 minutes. And while we wait for those, we can start um, making the yeast act. So we're gonna create a little mixture for the yeast to start being active. So you get a bowl, you put your water, water must be room temperature, so not cold and not hot. Um, and remember I am doing this um, in double quantities, so I will be putting double the water. And then you take your yeast and you crumple it inside. And then you roll your sleeves up <laughs> and you yeah, you make that melt. Let the yeast melt in the water, which is lukewarm. Once your yeast is melted, you combine the flours and you you start putting a little bit of flour inside and you start mixing it up. Okay, so when you reach this consistency, which as you can see is quite a thick batter, you're done. And what you're gonna do now is you're gonna pour your flour into the bowl to cover up to one to two centimeters on top. Like so, you're gonna make like a crust of flour. Okay. So once we have our batter, thick batter, covered with some flour, we're gonna take saran wrap and cover it. After about 30 minutes, your dough should look like this, or your batter, really. You see the yeast has seeped through, up, and the crust of flour has some cracks, and this is what it should look like. So now what we need to do is stir it a bit. So you see the yeast has worked. Once this is all mixed together, you can either transfer it to a bigger bowl and use your lovely hands, or you can get a kitchen robot with the dough hook attached and use that, which is what I'm going to do. I'm hoping it's all going to fit because I am making double quantities. Oh, this is heavy. Okay, so once you've finished kneading, it should look something like this. 
make a nice round fat ball. Take a bowl. You can use some of the olive oil that is still in your containers. Some always gets left behind. Or instead of being stingy, you can just get the jug <laughs> of olive oil. And pour a bit in. And all you want to do is just rub the bottom and sides of your bowl with the olive oil. Once that's done, you take your dough bowl, put it inside, and you cover it with saran wrap. So, once your dough has risen, as you can see it's doubled in size, and your tomatoes are now ready, we're going to tip this out. Work your dough a little bit, and then I'm actually going to um, divide my dough into two because, as I've mentioned before, I made double quantities. Um, I will show you two different ways in which you can now make the bread. Okay, so let's start. You're gonna want to get your dough, and you're gonna need a rolling pin and we're gonna roll it out okay so once your dough looks something like this you're gonna take your cherry tomatoes and place them in the middle you start from your long side and what you're gonna do is you're gonna start rolling Once you have your roll, you're gonna take a chopping board and you're gonna cut about, I'd say like two fingers, so maybe two centimeters or so. And you're just gonna slice that through, just like that. And you're gonna keep going. You can make it a bit approximate, it's fine. Okay, so you can start placing the slices in your tin, just like so. Once you're all done, you should have something looking like this. Now, you're going to put that aside with, cover it with a clean tea towel and let it double in size. Okay, so for our second method, um, we're gonna divide the dough into three. Um, you should weigh it because they need to be kind of equal. Um, so no approximation this time. <laughs> and just like before, we're going to roll them out into a strip. Making sure everything is up the way. Okay, so when your dough looks something like this, you're going to take some of the tomatoes and you're just going to place them and we're gonna roll it. There we have one, and now we're gonna make the other two. Okay, so when you've done all three, they should look something like this, and we're going to clap them. You're gonna start by joining the top. This is just like a regular plat. Make sure they're the same length. Pinch them together, and then you roll them under like that. Okay, so now we've made the plat, and you're just gonna take a baking tray with some parchment paper and mine did burst on the side and that's okay that happens you see right here you can try and kind of mend it but it doesn't really matter to be honest you're just gonna see the filling so that's fine and we're gonna leave this to rise as well um it should double in size Again, cover it with a clean tea towel and set it aside for about an hour or so. So as you can see, it has increased in size, both of them. We still have a little explosion and we have some tomatoes coming out there, but that's totally fine. It just adds a bit of color. And I've also made an emulsion. It's just um, water and oil. 
um, in equal parts. You don't need a lot. And you're gonna need a little brush. It can be silicone or it can be normal, but totally fine. So now all we're gonna do is we're going to dip this and just give it a good little brush. So once you're done, they will be all nice and shiny. And these need to cook in the oven at 210 degrees for about 15 minutes. And then you're gonna wanna turn the oven down um, to 180 degrees for about 30 more minutes. You really need to keep an eye on these towards the end of the cooking time because you never really know how long it's going to take. Okay, so I've taken the breads out of the oven and this is what they look like. This is the plaited bread. Smells delicious. It looks pretty good even where, yeah, this is where it was coming out with a little tomato, but it looks fine. It looks pretty good. And if you tap it, it's hollow and it's quite soft. So we'll see how that is. And this is the round, it's still pretty hot. Like as I'm touching it, I am realizing I should have let it cool down a little longer, but I just couldn't wait. <laughs> so here it is. This is the, the round one. I have to say, if you have a, a bigger cake tin, you will actually have a space in between, but mine is pretty compact, so it grew, and yeah, they stayed pretty close together. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'd say we can have a cut test. <laughs> See how this is. Let's cut in. Pretty soft. So we can cut a slice like so. Mm. It smells really good. Oh, and look at that. That is perfect. You can see the tomatoes inside. Mmm, that smells so yum. And now let's see the plat. See tomatoes down there and it's cooked. Yay! <laughs> Springs back. I'm quite happy with this. Well, so here you go. These are the two breads. We have the plaited version and we have the round crown version. I hope you enjoyed this and if you make your own, please let me know how it goes and post any pictures. Like my video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And yeah, hope to see you soon. Bye!